Happy New Year to you all. I mean, we had a fabulous year, but taking a look at December, it was a pretty nice month out there. I mean, we were actually dealt with more cooler temperatures than above or average, and you can see that our monthly high temperatures for the month of December. We actually hit 16 days below normal for the month, and we didn't hit any records, but I mean, hey, we were cooler, so hopefully January will be the same, and we are already dealing with cooler temperatures today. We actually hit a high of 65, which is cooler so we are starting off on a good note but even looking at a recap from yesterday we did have some active weather so definitely want to share this with you i mean yesterday our high temperature was 68 which that's average so we'll definitely take it we also saw some measurable rain and our highest gust was 40 miles per hour so pretty gusty and breezy as we had our new year and even el central received a little bit more than what yuma received but their highest gust was 60 miles per hour so definitely to kick off the new year we had some activity with with our conditions and still continuing to track that. So we do have this active weather pattern that's continuing to move down to the south and bringing us clouds. So we're staying with those cloudy conditions and we can also see some lingering showers going into tonight and even so for tomorrow. So here's a look on what we can expect. So going into tonight, we do have that potential to have some light showers, especially in Imperial Valley, a little bit in Yuma County areas, but I mean not seeing a whole lot there. So little to none um, for the rest of going into tonight and tomorrow. But I mean, we have that potential there so just be aware and if you do come across any of light sprinkles or light showers do not be too surprised so again that'll be lingering with us until Tuesday before we start to have those calmer conditions for the week and also those winds aren't going to be gone either so we're going to have breezy to even gusty conditions for the Imperial Valley for tonight so we can see gust up to 30 to even 40 miles per hour so if you're going to be traveling on the I-8 just make sure you're taking those precautions as we'll have those windy conditions in the valley I mean we'll stay nice and light here in, in Yuma County area so nothing too crazy but we'll definitely have a light breeze staying with us before we start to calm down into later on our Tuesday afternoon. Now here's what we can expect for our week on our eight day forecast. Clouds will be staying with us. Temperatures staying on the seasonable side before a little bit of a warm up come next week but still staying pretty comfortable and even tracking more potential where you can experience more showers as we go into next week. So definitely keeping a close eye on that but overall a beautiful start to our week despite the extra clouds. Back to you Scott.